Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I'm going to show you uh, two filaments I had uh, from the maker box uh, samples. I have a carbon fiber APS uh, and an iron PLA. Both of those filaments needed a hardened nozzle, so I kept them for the last because I was waiting for uh, the nozzles from E3D and they arrived uh, last week and I could do the prints with this filament. In this round I decided to test out uh, creating a temperature tower uh, to find the optimal temperature settings and also do a test print that was not uh, uh, um, on the normal models I've been using but I did, uh, did the Omnum and my microcoin and then the the temperature tower and the printing test file I found on Thingiverse. To start with, I, I started with a carbon fiber APS from Push Plastics. I really like the, the feel of this filament, but the temp tower test and bridging has a bridging test in it. And the temperature tower went from uh, 210 degrees in the top. No, 220 degrees in the top to 260 degrees at the bottom. At, at the bottom the bridging was really bad and around 235 was the best result in the bridging. Uh, but uh, as the cooling fan is turned off the, the bridging is, is not very good in, in the other temperatures. But uh, I decided to, to use 235 degrees on the remaining of the prints. The next print I did was uh, this test piece. Um, there was some bridging here that uh, was very thin that broke off, but they came out very nice. And uh, the overhang tests that are here, they came out really well. And you might see this, it's really uh, good performance on the overhangs and uh, the dome part is very smooth and the look and feel of the, the print is, is really smooth and very good. Uh, the thin walls came out great but uh, this broke off uh, just in, in the back when I was storing it but uh, the walls came out great and the detail in the prints are really good. So I was happy with this and then I printed my maker coin uh, and it came out really really well. Uh, you can't really see the layer lines, it's more like a matte overall finish. So the, the coin is, is quite good looking and there was no real issues. Um, um, uh, it came out uh, really really well. The, maybe the strength of the filament is is not very uh, not very good. It's more brittle maybe than normal ABS. But uh, at least I printed the Omnum, and as you can see, the surface finish is is very different from normal uh, PLA prints. It's very very matte and but very smooth. Um, and here in the in the top, there was a small issue because of the small size of the of the print it was you can see it small small blobs in it but otherwise it, it came out great and I'm quite happy with this filament uh, the filament itself before printing is 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 very it's very brittle um, you have to be careful handling the the filament and when I took it out of the bag, it coiled up uh, in a very big size uh, coil and I tried to put it on a, a normal spool and, and broke this part off just by bending it too much on the spool. So you have to handle it with, with care, this filament, and not uh, bend it too much on the, on the spool. But other, other than that, the, the print quality is great and I'm, I'm really happy with the the filament um, it's it, it's quite stiff but, uh, 
it's more stiffer than a normal ABS but uh, I think this is a, a great filament for an ABS filament so the next filament I had was the iron PLA from Protopasta this filament was really easy to print with and uh, very easy to, to use I did a temperature test also on this and uh, uh, as it is a PLA the tower was uh, from 170 degrees uh, to 210 and as you can see in the higher temperature there was a, a lot of uh, drooping on the bridge test but in 185 and 190 uh, the bridging was, was quite good no issue so I decided to print at 190 uh, the temperature on the on the back says 190 to 230 but uh, in my case 190 was the maximum I would go uh, in the lower temperature I tested to break out the cubes and the layer adhesion is not very good at lower temperature but in the higher temperature it's it's much stronger uh, so I decided to go with with 190 on the print um, <coughs> and I printed printed this test as before um, and had very good result I also broke off the the bridge tests here but they came out really nice the, the piece is, is 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 here and it's without any uh, any issues it's very thin piece so it, broke off very easily and uh, that may be uh, the one issue uh, the pieces break off really easily so layer adhesion is maybe not very good uh, in 190 but uh, print quality and, and overhangs here came out really well um, um, but <coughs> maybe you have to have more temperature for better layer adhesion so I can easily break this apart but uh, the print quality and the surface finish is, is really good so maybe you have to compromise uh, on the increased temperature to get bet better layer adhesion and, um, but have to deal with uh, uh, not very good uh, bridging abilities so depending on your print it, it might be a good idea to print at a higher temperature <coughs> I also printed my maker coin uh, as before um, uh, there was a, a tiny little bit of stringing in this print but uh, not nothing to worry about and the surface finish is, is really good and uh, the details in the, in the lettering are, are quite good um, the Omnum came out really great there was a also a tiny bit of stringing but nothing to worry about and the uh, surface finish is, is really smooth and uh, I really like this filament also it is uh, very easy to to print with and um, came out great and the, the gray color dark gray color is also great for this filament so I'm, I'm quite happy with this filament so that was uh, a quick look at the iron PLA from Protopasta and carbon fiber ABS from Push Plastics. Both filaments came out uh, really nice. Uh, I might have gotten better layer adhesion at the iron PLA with higher temperatures. But uh, other than that, I'm, I'm quite happy with those filaments. Uh, as I said, in the beginning the those two filaments are abrasive so you need to have a hardened nozzle to don't uh, so you don't destroy your nozzle and uh, i had to put up this review of this uh, a quick look at these two filaments because i was waiting for a nozzle from e3d and i got that in the mail and, and then i could carry on uh, so that will be it on, on those two filaments and I thank you for watching and see you in the next one.